Hello, my name is Grant Kai, and this is... My name is David Ajahn. And where are you from? I'm from Hungary. Perfect. Okay, so, how as Americans is our culture offensive in Hungary? So, one thing that comes to mind as far as American culture versus European culture and culture from other countries too, is that in the US people tend to not take their shoes off when they come inside. And in Hungary and in other countries, it's kind of offensive to not take your shoes off when you enter someone's home. Great. So, next question. How should you go about making introductions with a female? So, generally, um, and this can especially be seen in the older generations, is when a male and a female come together and they're introduced or whatever, the woman is generally the one who offers her hand to shake to the man. And it's in bad taste for the man to offer his hand first. Awesome. So are there specific gestures that people, uh, or that you would recommend in Hungary? Is when people go out and they drink um, and they're at the pub or bar for a beer or whatever, and they clink glasses and they say cheers. In Hungary, it's considered extremely rude to not look the other person in the eye when you're clinking glasses. Whereas in the US, people just go clink, clink, clink without looking at each other. So how, as Americans, is our culture offensive in your culture? A Brazilian culture is much more like informal and much more touchy. So for Americans, that can actually be offensive. But also, I think Brazilians think that Americans are rude just because they're not as fluffy and there's not as like, um, like a high context is, I guess, the word for it. Um, so sometimes Brazilians will be like, oh, Americans are so cold or they're so rude. Okay. Um, how should you go about making introductions with someone from your country when meeting them for the first time? How do you hug, shake hands, eye contact, personal space, etc.? Um, so in Brazil, you have to say hi and bye to everyone in the room, like even if there's like 50 people, like you go around to everyone. And so you introduce yourself, hi, my name is blah, 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 and you like give them two kisses on the cheeks and you hug them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are there any specific gestures that people should avoid when interacting with people from your culture? Yes. Okay. So in the U.S., doing this means like, okay, but in Brazil, it's like, a really bad word <laughs> it's like a it's really offensive so don't ever do that <laughs> <laughs> do men and women typically interact the same way with people of the same sex as they do with those of the opposing ones if so could you please describe how these interactions might play out um in my experience it's pretty similar because you hug and kiss everyone um so yeah Pretty, still very open, still very like um, physical contact. Okay. In your culture, is business conducted in a more or less formal manner than America? Definitely less formal. Um, it's a lot more about like social relationships. Hi, my name is Taylor Grosbeck and I'm from China. Are there any specific gestures that people should avoid when interacting with people from your culture? Touchiness and physical affection are not as common in Chinese culture, such as hugging and things like that that are common in the US. They can be seen as too touchy. In your culture, is business conducted in a more or less formal manner than in America? In China, social structure is formal and ranked. Everyone knows where they fit into the structure and they abide by the rules there. There's no crossing into other areas, whereas in America is much looser and informal. How, as Americans, is our culture offensive to your culture? The style of communication Americans have is more upfront than Chinese, which can be considered offensive. 